What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Retro Hoop Collectibles. You know, I really, I really like. I'm really trying here. I really am. I know that from a just a, a strictly from a cost standpoint. It's not the best idea to rip product unless you're buying it retail uh, straight from the stores, which is a little easier to do now, I'll admit. But here's the problem. The prices went up significantly. I think you're paying like $40 for a blaster box. Uh, I think it's like upwards of $50 for a mega box. Cello packs are almost 20 bucks by themselves. That didn't used to be the case. And the problem is, is that I don't like Panini at all, period. But the fact of the matter is, is they still hold the licenses um, for at least the short term until they get bought out by Fanatics. So they're the only game in town. And there's really nothing anybody, any of us can do about that until, you know, Fanatics decides to finally buy them out, take over, and then we'll see kind of what plays out from there. But... I, and, and, and none of us, uh, with the exception of maybe a couple of industry insiders, um, Sports Card Radio seems to have a, a some inside information there, but none of us really, for the most part, know when that's going to happen. We don't really know what the plans are from a transition standpoint. The idea was that at this, um, th this industry summit that they had in Las Vegas are, are going to have, I don't know, that they're going to reveal some plans. I, th nobody knows, right? I mean, the, the, the normal collector, you and I, we have no idea what's happening. We don't know what's going to happen. But one thing I will say for sure, for certain, over the last two or three months, I'd say not even that long, I'd say probably for the last month, um, I've been able to buy product on Target's website, Target's app. I've been able to hit a few of these um, drops on Fanatics' website. So I've been able to get my hands on some product at retail price. Still not really liking the pricing at the moment, but it is what it is. The fact of the matter is, is I'm able to hit some product. Not very high-end stuff. Um, Chronicles, you guys know I'm a big fan of Chronicles. Um, in terms of volume, we get tons of, uh, you know, we get tons. I'm a little out of focus, ain't I? Let me see what's going on here. There we go. All right. Uh, it's a one-man show here, people. Sorry. Um, so I've been, I've been able to get my hands on some products. Nothing really big. You guys know I love Chronicles. Chronicles is rookies in bunches. And this is my, one of my favorite rookie years because, you know, the Rockets are, are, are relatively stacked when it comes time to rookies, uh, when it comes to rookies. So, um, so I've been ripping some Chronicles. I've been ripping some um, Optic. And I was very optimistic, no pun intended, to rip Optic um, because it's you know kind of the first time I've been able to rip some product. And I do have some Prism on the way. But after ripping this, I had, I want to say three boxes, three blaster boxes of Optic that I opened up, okay? And I would have been excited about some of the hits that I got except for the fact that the quality control coming out of Panini right now is absolutely atrocious it is the worst that it has ever been it is the worst that, it, that I have ever seen and I've ripped some product going all the way back to 2012 2011 I've, I've bought boxes and rip boxes, blaster boxes, mega boxes from everything from 2016, 15, 18. And this is by far the worst in terms of quality control that I have ever seen Panini produce. Now, I don't know what's going on. I can only speculate. And my speculation is, is that when you turn on the faucet, when you crank up manufacturing to 150%. Those of us who are in manufacturing as a trade or as a, as a, as a job, as a day job, 
The one thing we know to be certain is that the level of quality is always going to dip. A, 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 a drastic change in the output of a manufacturing facility, one that comes quickly without proper vetting of all of the processes to make sure that they're up to snuff to be able to turn up you know, the heat. It's always going to produce lower quality product. It's just that simple. And that's the only thing that I can think of when it comes to what's going on with Panini. I pulled some really nice cards. I pulled an Evan Mobley silver rookie card that is horribly off-centered. Top to bottom, left to right. This thing is bad. Okay. This Cade Cunningham, which would have been hit of the box for me. Again horribly off-centered i mean look at that the basketball is cut off in this the rated rookie very close to the top it's just a bad looking card here's another one evan mobley actually this one's not that bad but the back of it is horrible i mean these are just clearly off-centered cards Look at this Miles McBride. I pull a Miles McBride uh, optic silver. Look at that. You got look. You guys are looking at this in a camera that is like five feet away or two feet away. You can clearly see that huge indentation, and that's an indentation. I mean, it's in there. The embossing stamp on this is clearly off. Something fell into the press that caused that divot in the card it's so bad the back of it is terribly off-centered and the top to bottom left to right I mean, th these are they're just really bad cards the centering on them is horrible here's this joshua primo purple that would have been a good hit again horribly off-centered and these are just the ones that i pulled out guys i mean like the entire box was just absolute garbage. So after I after I get this box, I mean, I did some cello packs. I bought some cello packs of Prism that I was able to get on Panini's website. I mean, on um, uh, Target's website. I'm done. I am done ripping product. Completely done. I am swearing off Panini. I am no longer buying any more panini product any new panini product i'm still gonna try to find some old stuff because i still want to rip some hoops i still want to try to make my way through all of the nba hoops sets ripping at least one type of product of some shape or form of all the nba hoops that have ever been released but as far as new product i just can't do this anymore i spent hours scouring the Dallas card show floor this last time looking for some really nicely centered um, uh, Davis Mills rookie cards for my garbage Houston Texans. Couldn't do it. Couldn't find it. Talked to all the guys at the table. Everybody said, good luck, buddy. Good luck. Because you ain't, you ain't going to find them. Prism's horribly off-centered. Everything is bad. You can't, good luck finding a 10. Good, good luck finding one that's centered because it ain't, it ain't happening. So I'm done. I'm swearing off Panini. I cannot, I cannot continue to give money to that company. And we're not even going to get into redemptions. That's going to be a whole nother video. But I really hope that this will allow me to kind of focus my attention on vintage boxes, buying vintage wax. Um, and, and, and hopefully ripping some 90s stuff, getting back into ripping some 90s stuff. I really want to get into that. And, uh, if you guys want to keep up on how that goes, then hit the subscribe button because I'm going to try to hunt some stuff down. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Are you guys experiencing this same level of horrible, horrible quality, uh, in this year's Panini products? If so, let me know how bad yours are. Send me a DM on Instagram at Retro Hoop Breaks. Show me your worst card. 
I'll try to bring some of them up during the podcast this week. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. Love y'all. Peace.